What's up? It's Brandon B, aka Blaze here, and it's time for another movie review. So I just got out of the movies, and I just saw The Kingsman, The uh, Golden Circle, which is the sequel to Kingsman, The, the Secret Service. Secret Service. Ah, sorry about that. Which came out a couple, I think a couple years ago. Um, this one was a really, really good movie. I liked it a lot. I actually was a big fan of the first movie. Um, turns out it's based on a, I think a comic book, or it's actually based on like a graphic novel or a real book. Um, the movie was really well done. It was actually perfect for what a sequel should be. Um, it did stay true to the story, and it actually picked up right where, kind of where the first movie left off at. So they did a really nice job. Um, it was long. It was over like two hours and something minutes long, uh, which was really good. Only had like two slow points in it. Everything else was just straight action, straight on through. Uh, a lot of great stuff. The kind of that you would see like in The Matrix or in The Watchmen or the, even that movie 300. Um, but this was really good. This is the story about, I don't know if you guys saw the first movie, but it's a story about like assassins and this kid who is like a young adult who gets in trouble, but then he becomes an assassin for the Kingsmen, which is like an assass uh, assassin group like that's in England. Um, well, in this movie, he is uh, like a full-on assassin, but he actually comes to the United States to join the Statesmen um, to go be a part of their assa uh, assassination group so that they could take... Um, so that they can go after the main person that's actually trying to destroy all of them, um, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, let's see, this movie had stars such as, like, Jeff Bridges was in it as leader of the Statesmen. Channing Tatum was one of the Statesmen. Um, it had Colin Firth, which is the original Kingsman. I don't remember the kid's name. That was the main star. I haven't really seen too much of his movies. Um, I don't know the main bad girl's name either. I haven't really seen too much of her movies. I can't remember her to be exactly. Um, it did have Holly Berry in it, which was pretty cool. She was the assistant to the Kingsman. Um, but overall, it was such a great film. Uh, I really liked it a lot. Tons of action. I'm definitely going to give this movie a probably 10 out of 10 uh, because it just kept me at the edge of my seat. I felt so interested. Um, this is the one where like the lady is trying to take over the world, so she infects, uh, puts like poisonous chemicals into all the drugs that people smoke and take, and um, they turn, they start turning them into like kind of like zombies, because um, they go through like four different stages, which is like regular, they're paranoia, paranoia, and then they go into like a state where they're like paralyzed and then death. Um, now another thing that was pretty cool is that about this movie, it did have Samuel L. Jackson back in it for like a couple scenes. And it also had the musical star uh, Elton John, which is really cool, and he did a lot of action in this movie. Um, so I'm definitely going to give this a 10 out of 10. And as always, please keep on watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.